God bless you and welcome to the channel. I pray everyone's having a blessed day in Jesus' name. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to unlock a LS PCM using HP tuners. Uh, we have the MPVI3, which I just bought recently. And this is mine. And this one is an MPVI2, which is Jacob's. Um, and Jacob has a generational license, so he has basically unlimited credits for these type of PCMs. So I'm going to be using his to show you how to unlock them. It's a real simple process. Um, I recommend when you get the two credits to do it this way because I wasted two credits on mine, which two credits is $100. So I basically wasted $100. Um, so Jacob brought his so I can show you how to unlock them. And this is going to be for pretty much any LS swap. You're going to need to unlock the vehicle anti-theft at the bare minimum just to get it to run. If not, it'll crank and it'll fire up for a few seconds and then it'll die because the vehicle anti-theft kicks in. So I'm going to go ahead, get this plugged in. We're going to be using my truck. I have the wire harness connected on the blue plug and I'm going to go ahead and plug this in and show you how to do that. All right, so I have the Jack Spania Racing standalone wiring harness OBD2 plug ran to the inside. So we're just gonna plug this in like that. You'll see that light is on. We've got the cord connected. Gonna plug it into the laptop. Now we're gonna go ahead and turn the key in the on position. We are going to go over here to read vehicle. Click that. Gonna click read. And this usually takes about two minutes, roughly, to read the entire thing. And after it reads the entire thing, we'll go over the next step. So now you're going to want to save the file. It's a 99 Sierra PCM. So we're going to go ahead and save that file so that we have it for later. And now it should look like this in the general idle airflow exhaust fuel spark torque management. Now, there are more settings hidden right here. All you have to do is go up to Edit, click View. And then click Advanced, click OK, close this little window, click Engine again, and you'll have more settings. This is the TAC output, which I needed for this particular OBS truck. Um, we had to set that value to 3. It's at 6 right now, so that way the TAC would work. And we couldn't find that without going to Edit, clicking the View, and then the Advanced settings. So we had to have that. So basically all we're going to be doing right now is just turning off the vehicle anti-theft which is in system as a little fan that's control click the serial and click none so that way we will basically re-upload this base map file into the ecu and now this will be ready to go now with his mpva2 um, this is before the epa got a hold of everything so you could go in and turn off the rear O2 sensor, check engine light. Now this is for off-road vehicles or like vehicles you're going to use at the track or on a farm or something like that. And you're just going to LS swap and not drive it on the highway. They have that settings and they can do the same thing with the MPVI3, but you have to take a course online before doing any of that. Um, this one is grandfathered in, so it doesn't have to do that. But we're going to go ahead and go ahead, upload this back into the PCM and this uh, LS swap computer would be ready to go for anybody that needs it. Um, but depending on if you need the rear O2s turned off or anything like that, now before we upload the file, you need to go to system, click the fans if you plan on having electric fans. Right now it's set to no fans. We're gonna click auxiliary fans. Now if you plan on having two fans, one for AC, one for normal running, you'll click two fans, but I usually just will do the aux fan. So that way you can run them both at the same time uh, or whatever you want to do. This is the time to do it. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to save this file as 99 Sierra PCM vets removed. Save this file. And then now we can write file. We're going to click write entire. We're only going to do this the one time. It does say it's brickable, which means it could ruin the PCM, um, but you do this only one time when writing it, and then any changes you make afterward, you can just do write calibration. We're gonna go ahead and click write entire. It takes about two minutes, and then it'll be done. All right, so next thing to do is see if it runs. All 
All right, so now that we've confirmed that the PCM is good to go, this is ready for an LS swap. Now you'd need HP tuners to adjust anything. If, like I said, if you wanted to turn like EGR or O2 sensors off or whatever, that would have to be done through HP tuners. But as it sits, this is basically factory level ready to fire up. And for the OBS, like I said, there's different settings you need to adjust, but I'm not going over that in this video. So that is ready to go for basic LS swap. If you want to just go put it in an old hot rod or, you know, make it full drag car, then you go through and adjust all the settings anyways. So now that we know that's good to go, I wanted to go over a few things. So this PCM right here is for electronic throttle body LS swaps. And this one here is for cable throttle body LS swaps. For my particular setup, I have a cable. So this is the one I'd use. And the way to tell, as you see how it says red here, on the other side, right here, it says blue. For the electronic throttles, it says green. And then on this side, it says blue. So we've got green, blue, that's electronic throttle body, and then red, blue, which that is cable throttle. So I wanted to mention that real quick, and you can get these at the salvage yard, usually pretty cheap, but just beware, you could have a bad PCM like I did on this one. We actually have this computer right here. You can see I wrote trans issue ECU, um, but this PCM right here actually was having transmission issues causing my transmission to not shift right. We swapped a different one in from the junkyard, put the tune on it, and it's perfect now. So yeah, the PCM can be bad and still run the engine fine. This would be a good PCM for like a manual transmission vehicle, but not for an automatic since it has transmission issues. The speedometer and stuff like that worked. It was just constantly kicking it on and off on the shift points, and it was causing some serious issues. So this one's basically no good. So I just wanted to point those out real quick to do the HP tuners is kind of tricky at first when you don't know how to use it. Um, I wasted $100 worth of credits by trying to take a tune from someone else and loading it onto my PCM and it cost two credits, which is $50 a credit. And I unlocked the tune that I had, but I didn't unlock the computer. So I'd had to have had $200 worth of credits, one for the tune, one for the computer. So don't make that mistake. Just download the file that's on here and you can actually put all the settings you want into it and then re-upload that file for $100 worth of credits and then you're good to go. Then you basically can un endlessly tune that computer. Um, but if you ever have to switch to a different one, you have to buy the credits for a different computer. But on Jacob's MPVI2 uh, HP tuner, the tuner itself holds all the credits and stuff, and he has unlimited use credits for the LS base engine from 2000 or 99 to 2004 or something like that. He can endlessly tune them, so he can grab a, a PCM from the salvage yard, uh, load a base map on it, and sell them at a little bit more price to make a profit. So he's got it set up really good for that, and I can do something similar where I can buy a six credits which is three hundred dollars buy the credits and unlock say 2002 pcms so that way 2002 pcms i can do that same thing now it wouldn't work on 2001 or 2003 but all the 2002s it should work so it's definitely a pretty cool little thing and it's definitely worth the money just you got to know how to use it there's lots of informational videos out there so definitely check some out and learn all you can before actually using these things I didn't do that and I made my mistakes, so learn from my mistakes. Yeah, I just wanted to give you a little rundown on how to remove the vehicle anti-theft from an LS-based PCM. Uh, it's pretty simple with HP tuners. It's just I recommend doing a lot of research prior to doing it so you don't waste credits like I did. Um, there's a lot of good YouTube channels out there. I'll link one in the description, one or two of them, so you guys can learn if this is something you guys want to do. I'm not a ECU channel or anything like that, or PCM programming channel. So uh, definitely some better ones out there for sure. But I hope this little video has helped you, get you this, that much more knowledge. Um, but yeah, that's basically it for this video. If you guys liked it, please click that like button, drop a comment below, share the video around, and stay tuned for more. Feel free to browse the channel. But I'm gonna go ahead and get off here and roll my outro, and here it is.
everyone want to let you know the gospel which means good news and the good news is we no longer have to live this way we don't have to live in bondage and sin and addiction and depression we can call upon the name of names and the lord of lords which is jesus he went to the cross and died for sinners like me and like you every one of us falls short of the glory of god for the wages of sin is death and the free gift of eternal life comes through jesus christ and his sacrifice all you have to do is believe in your heart and confess with your mouth that Jesus rose from the dead by the power of God, defeated sin and death for us, and you will be saved. After you're saved, the good works start to show. We're not saved by our works. We can't be saved by feeding the homeless or the poor or going and doing good deeds and stop cussing, but we are saved through our faith in Jesus Christ. And once you have that faith, those things seem to fall off. Your language will clear up, your good deeds will start flourishing, and you will show fruit that you are saved by the King of Kings. Jesus loves you. I love you. And I just wanted to let you know this truth. I know there's people that reject it, but that's their choice. God did not invent hell for us. He gave us a way out with Jesus at the cross. Hell wasn't designed for us. It was actually designed for the fallen angels and the ones that followed after Satan. And it's because of Satan's pride. So remember that whenever you see that word pride everywhere. Just remember, it's because of pride that Satan fell. Don't fall into that trap. But God also does honor our choice. If we want to live away from him, he will honor that because he loves us. Love must be free and not forced. See, God is a just God and a God of love, and he loves us so much he gave us free will to choose him or reject him. And either which way we go, he will honor. If we choose him, all the other things are going to fall off and we're going to go towards him. If we reject him, he'll honor that by sending you far from him. And hell is a place of torment. And it will also be filled with a bunch of religious fanatics who sit there shaking their finger at you because you're doing this, but they're doing even worse. They know the truth, so they're going to be held to a higher standard. As soon as you know the truth, you are held to a higher standard. So it's worse for a believer than an unbeliever. I just want to call all of my brothers and sisters out there who have backslid. I've done it, and I call them back in the name of Jesus. I pray this message reaches you. So all you have to do is believe in the finished work. It's not complicated. Open your Bible, start reading, and ask God to open your eyes. And I pray this message reaches whoever it's intended for, because I know there's a lot going on in the world. Guys, he's coming back soon. Jesus is coming. So go ahead, open your Bible, tell the world. I just want to let you know, God loves you, and I love you. If you're saying in your mind, you can't love me, you don't even know me. Well, people hate each other for no reason. I get hated on all the time, and people don't know me. So I can love you for no reason. But my reason comes from above. His name is Jesus. Just wanted to leave you with that. God bless each and every one of you. God bless. Stay safe. Stay awesome. Jesus loves you.